leg back, drive the knee forward. Hip side, five on each side. Back to downward dog after you've had five on each side. Movement through the slide. Take it up. One more time through because it feels so good. Good. Let's stay on your hands and knees. One hand on your neck. Elbow pointing down. We'll rotate it up five times on each side.
think something is with the little dongle, like when they get older, it kind of, the connection isn't as good. It's my high tech explanation, I don't know. Bring both arms up again. Breath up into that line. And then bring those arms back. Hands on the ground. Press it into downward dog. Come up on the toes. Now when you're ready, walk the hands in. Hang here for a second, nice and loose. Sway back and forth. And then come on up. Oh, shoulder circles. Squeezing those shoulder blades back.
for about five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Make sure you're not arching that back off the wall. Keep it full engaged. Legs are bent 90 degrees. You're halfway. videos if the music's like too oh. loud.
music and I'll get like notices, like if they kick him down the video, like a year and a half later. <laughs> it's like your video's been banned. I guess there must be some software that goes through and finds. I guess so. Keep going guys, shoulder back. There you go. Not 40. Yeah, guys. Shoulders back, head in line, shoulder. Halfway. 15 more seconds. Come on. You got this. Wait. 
like a standing press. Driving that knee up as you pull the leg down. 20 seconds on each side. Then we're going to come down to the ground. Renegade war row or bird dog row. Your choice. So renegade row. A couple different ways to do it. So the kind of original way, hands on your weight, pulling that weight up. I really want with this one, no rocking the hips. So when you pull the weight up, I want your hips staying flat. If they are rocking a lot, you can do a modified renegade row on your knees, or you can get rid of the weights and really work on that form. And again, you can do no weights either on your knees or with weights. Bird dog row, again, notice one, one leg extended, rowing with the opposite hand. Plus number two, a couple different ways to do it, obviously. Then you've got pullover with the heel tap. So you start with one weight, grab your heavier weight. Weight is overhead. These are that 90 degrees. Pull over as that weight comes towards the knee. You're tapping that heel down. Keeping the leg bent 90 degrees the entire time. So don't just drop your heel down. If the movement comes from the hips. And then rolling over onto your stomach. Alternating arm and leg swimmers. Pull the arm and opposite leg up. Squeeze those glutes. Hold it for a second. Lower back down. Working those muscles along your spine. Keep that lower back nice and strong. Okay, standing bow with a weight.
Okay, alternating arm and leg. Up. Keep that head in neutral position. Looking down. Let's go. Up. Pause. Down. That's the tempo. So you always have one leg and one arm on the ground. Well, the other one is great. Renegade row.
Five seconds. See if you can pick up that pink last night. Switch sides. Four engaged. Six more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay. Swimmers, alternate your arm and leg. Thank you. 
Why? Ready. 
Thanks, Laura.